Tell me if it sweet. make life so sweet I bite on you and you she take on me blue. She love the pain It's a full moon, she sipped the brandy, ate scampi, cooked by my granny, granny. said she feel free, wet her panty, slips in she, now she need a plan B, me love gal, me another Nancy, I bless you, go bless and get a hanky, tell a gal come, we are here Miami, on, me up. dance and drink, take home all three, she love the blue, she love, she love the pink, she, she fell in love, what kind candy, she love, hundreds and fifties make life so sweet, she love, keep Benji's and grants on me, she love, the blue, she loved the pink. She fell in love with cotton candy all night long. She want pink ladies. She love when the sugar or rush through her teeth. Sweet light licorice, sweet light licorice. With a hand of the bitterness. Truck title Cotton Candy, courtesy my guest, One IQ. Welcome to Entertainment Weekly. How you doing, brethren? Giving thanks, you. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good, man. Yeah, man. Cotton candy is a new joint, man, that's coming out for the summer. Get the gal, then be sweet, you know. Definitely. Now, before we even get into the music and everything else, tell me a little bit about One IQ. Well, One IQ, man, he's, he's for everybody. And the real meaning behind One IQ is we all come from one. You know what I mean? We all come from the source. You know, and I could get deep, but I ain't gonna do that right now. And I learned to understand that we all come together and have a IQ knowing that we need to do this, we need to do that, with a higher power, a higher sense, then the whole world will be good. And that's kind of like what I'm trying to bring out. But right now I got to bring out the ways and, you know, what people like, and then I'm going to give them that message. Boom. And then they're going to really see me. That one IQ is just bringing everybody together under one IQ. You know what I mean? Knowing that we're supposed to love, we're supposed to live, we're supposed to eat, eat, help, teach, you know, without hate, envy, jealousy, you know, without the, the, the deadly sins, without negativity. So, you know, one I see is just a positive, you know, a positive image, a positive force that I brought into life. Teach people that, you know, we're here for a better reason. And we're here to help each other grow. You know what I'm saying? And be one with each other. You know? But it, it takes people with a high conscience and a high, you know, intelligence, you know, to really understand that, I'm just like you, you just like me. You gotta eat, I gotta eat, so I gotta, you feel me? Like, that's what one I two really brings to the world, you know what I mean? To help everybody understand that, hey, I ain't no different from you. Yeah, I'm trying to get where you trying to go, or I'm trying to do something just like you trying to do something. Scratch my back, scratch yours, so teach me, teach me, help me help you. You know what I mean? That's just kind of what I'm just trying to bring, you know, to this game, to this life. So people say they want to do that, but they're not doing that. So, I kind of got a vision for it. It's kind of working right now. So, so major emphasis work. on the word one. Mm-hmm. All right. And where are you from? I'm from Queens in Brooklyn, New York. And as I have it, you have no direct Jamaican connections, do you? Honestly, I, if I check my background and my roots, maybe, but nah. You know, when I was in Flatbush, man, I just been around a lot of Jamaicans, man, a lot of West Indians. That's why I was just around me. So it was so easy. You know, once you're around, you know, it's just like somebody coming from Spain trying to speak English. Once you're around it, you adapt. It. And that's kind of what I did. I adapted to culture. I adapted to that block because it was just a whole different feeling when it was being spoken to me. You know what I'm saying? Then the coach behind it. It's just I go on and on, you know? So that's how I adapted to the Jamaican culture, you know. But I probably do have some Jamaican uh, sense. You know, I got all type of sense. Like I said, <laughs> we're all one. You know, understand? I'm bringing this from the source. So even if I don't or I do, I'm bringing it from the highest power. You know, I'm tapping in the culture and I'm bringing it out. And I'm giving it to the universe. And the reason why I ask that is that my first exposure to you was through a dancehall track. And even though you could hear the American accent, your command of the track was of somebody who had connections and, you know, you knew dancehall. You were not just trying dancehall. You were familiar with it. Yes, I am. So tell me about that part of the track. Well, when I was mom for my money, money for my mind, you know, it's a song that's out, you know, a reggae song that, you know, that's a classic. And I was like, yo, if I bring that back or if I put that in my track, they'll feel me. You know, they understand, like, 
I'm just like, yo, you feel me? I'm thinking about my money. I want my money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about connecting and relating. You know what I mean? So when I heard that part of the song, I knew I had to put that that that, that regular tone, that, that, that patois on it. So y'all could feel me connecting and know that, hey, I'm just showing respect to the coaches. I'm just showing respect to the ones before me that I heard. You feel me? Right. That's how I looked at it and heard that part. Crown production. Rich before birth. Look at all this money. Mm, if you find another way, baby, baby, if you find another way, come and kill you. If you find another way, baby, then leave today. I tell her if she stay, everything will be okay. Mind on my money, I got money on my mind. She wine for the money, for the money, she gon' climb. Mind on my money, I got money on my mind. Yeah, she wine for the money, for the money, she gon' climb. Yeah, in the rape, sipping rape, watch her wine on me. Shorty a rough rider, just like she eats. Honey so sweet, it's like she been with the D. She Bonnie, I'm Clyde, she die for me. I told her climb on the money, for the money. Put in work, you gotta grind for the money. Hey, say you when it's raining, so you shine when it's sunny. When it's gotta be the mind every time that she hungry. Wrap up like a mummy, back up on my tummy. You ever been to America? I take you out the country. Move like Jackson with these 20 in a ghost like a duppy. Hit her with the stool key, and she say she love me. Call me QQ, here's a Q-tip. You know I sir, I got my exclusive. Give checks like Nike, I just do it. Wanna split and I rise with the movement. If you find another way, maybe they leave today. I tell her if she stays, everything will be And how long has this one been out? It's been out since the summer trip. There's a couple months. And what's the feedback you have been getting? Everybody loves it. You know, every you know what's funny? A couple of uh, artists that uh you know I started with it's like, dang bro, I didn't know you could do this. People that I grew up with from New York was like, damn, you need to stay on this way. So, you know, I'm getting a lot of great feedback. No negativity. Everybody's like, yo, it's happy vibes when I hear it. Every time I play this song, it's happy vibes. You know, and even myself, like, I could be in a little rut. I put this I put this track on, and it just changed my mood, Like, right? So this track right here is, like, a mood changer. It's definitely going to make me happy. It's definitely going to give you that, that energy. Because many people said it, and I tried it on myself. You know what I'm saying? So it's amazing to see that even though I'm not from Jamaica, I'm showing respect for the culture and people are still giving me my respect for my problems for doing it. So that's really amazing for me to have in the background of me, you know. Because now I was like, all right, when I create my next one and my next one and my next one, you know, they already know what kind of, what, what do you kind of expect from me, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be nothing but hate, respect, love, and good love. As long as you keep it like that, as long as you keep it like that, you know, when you're not from a certain place or, you know, you always be good. That's one thing I do. I do learn about. I did learn about life too. And the thing about it is that is that just somebody who sees an opportunity to jump on a genre. This is actually a genre that you have been around and been listening to and enjoying. Yes, sir. Okay, this track was produced by Crown International. How did that link up occur? Hey, I'm gonna be honest, man. It's all about being at the right time, at the right place, you know, and. Um, my best friend Malcolm, he hooked me up with Jamie, which is Anson's nephew. And, you know, he told his nephew that, you know, I got some fire, yo. I got this New York artist. They're looking for a New York artist. He's like, yo, I got a New York artist, bro. Like, he's the man, you know what I'm saying? And Jamie called me one day. He's like, yo, I need you to come for a lot of those. I came into the studio. I met him. You know what I'm saying? This track was crazy. There was another artist on it, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever happened, happened. He told me, hey. Can you put something on it? I said, Shoot, I'll go over here right in anyway. You know what I mean? I was waiting. I went in there. I only put down a minute of the track. They loved it, right? They told me, go home, right? Write the whole song out. I did the whole song. I sent it back. And this is how this opportunity became today. So I took what was right in front of me and I added the flame to it in the moment. You know what I'm saying? They say, yo, can you do this? I say, yeah, I can do it. You know, why can't I? You know what I'm saying? Why am I here? I'm here for a reason. I'm here to do something. And it, it came to life. And in that moment, I did not know I was going to put all that effort into it like I did. Because I just wanted to put something down over what I heard. You understand? 
Once I went home and I did my little research and I was like, mm, I started playing my little reggae food. I was like, all right, 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 all right. Started playing certain people, you know, Tommy Lee Spotter, all right, all right, all right. I got the wave, I got the energy. And I was like, all right, this time I'm going to do it. This time I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? You know, that's how the song came. We all hear the end result and we see what's happening with it so far. Right. And right. we're definitely looking to see more great things at this track and more great things for you overall. I know you have quite a few other tracks on YouTube that people can go check out. And on that note, tell us about your social media. You can find me at O N E 3 Y E 2 on everything. You know, Spotify, SoundCloud, so Apple Music. Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. I'm on every platform. And right now, I got some gear coming out, too. It's going to be a lot of merch. You know what I mean? I'm going to send some merch to you, too, Pat. I got you. I'm going to bless you, too. Definitely. Well, we'll definitely be looking forward to seeing the work as it progresses, and we'll definitely be having more conversations keeping up with you and the music. Yes, yes, we will. will. So until we cross paths again, your blessings. Blessings, y'all know. Mm. Yeah. If you find another way, find another baby.